Today I'm taking a look at the Swaital Laser Engraver. Very nice packaging. Big instruction manual. That is great. And it's even in color. We've got our tools. So they gave us some practice boards, so we actually got something that we can get cutting right away, which is very nice. We have our laser focus gauge. So this laser is a fixed focus, so what that means is we set this on top of the project that we're going to be working on, drop the laser on that, and then that will set the focus. We got some zip ties, we got some wrenches, and this is actually a legitimate wrench. It's not one of those just like flat wrenches, so very cool. We got our belt with the bolts for it. I like that we got all of our bolts separated and labeled. Not a heck of a lot that we got to worry about. Our power supply cord, USB B to USB A, cleaning brush. We got our feet, and this is actually kind of a bluish looking color so it's like a silvery blue which is very nice we got our laser and this is an 18 watt laser so fairly powerful i really like that color so we got a viewing window in the front we can see we got a tube for our air assist and the air assist right there where it's going to mount is a dovetail so that will just slide in and then it will lock in with this bolt right here We've got our gantry. Now, one thing that makes this stand out right away is this actually has a linear rail across it. So this is going to be a much more sturdy than a standard extruded aluminum gantry. This does have a cable support. It's already attached. So this is already mostly built, which is great. So we can save ourselves a lot of time. And you can kind of see right in there where that attaches to this linear rail. So I love seeing that. That is awesome. Got our safety glasses. Very important. We only got one set of eyes. And our power supply is 100 to 240 volts, so it's good for international or domestic. It outputs 24 volts and 5 amps. Okay, here we have got our framework. And they already pre-installed the limit switch. And this is all standard extruded aluminum, but a very nice blue color. And this is the last piece of the puzzle. This is the controller and the last cable support. So it looks like we got an HDMI port. We've got power, USB, power switch, and an e-stop. And it looks like it has Wi-Fi capability. So it's a fairly straightforward install. There wasn't really a heck of a lot to it. I mean, it actually went pretty quick. Now this is, it is compatible with laser gribble, so we'll go ahead and get that. Now this is a honeycomb grid. It does not come with it, but I've got one, so I'm gonna use it. Basically what this is gonna do is it's going to allow gases, like the smoke in the air, to go through it, so you're gonna get a much better cut if you plan on actually cutting. So I'll plug in USB to the computer, and I'll plug in the power supply. First thing we're going to do is set the focus. So I'm going to bring this guy over here and I'm going to spin it down just until it touches. So it's right there and we got our focus. So let's turn it on. We don't have an air assist connected right now and we're going to see how well that works without the air assist. So let's set a home. Okay. Cool. So that means limit switches are working. So let's check our framing. I 
Okay, that looks pretty good. Make sure we got our safety glasses on. So I'm set to 6,000 millimeters per minute and 50% power and go. Okay, so that came out pretty darn well. That's nice. Give it a quick sanding. Check that out. That is awesome. Okay, so now I'm going to try cutting. I'm going to be cutting a circle. I'm going to be cutting at 400 millimeters per second, so much slower at 70% power. Okay, nice and quick, and it cut. We have got a coin. Let's try and see if we can do this faster. Okay, so we're going with the same power of 70% at 600 millimeters per second speed. Much faster. It cut through that one as well. So this thing cuts no problem. That was quick. I'm going to try 100% power at 1,000 millimeters per minute. <laughs> That's so quick. Uh, didn't quite make it, so that was a little too fast for the power of the laser. So I'm just going to do the exact same thing, same power, same speed, and just let it do a second pass. So there it is. So I want to try a final one. I'm going to do 100% power, 900 millimeters per second. And did we get it? Yes, we did. So that guy can make super quick cuts. And there is our coins. Pretty neat. It actually didn't do too bad without an air assist. With an air assist, I'd be even better, it'd be a little cleaner, but this does work just as is. So the last thing I wanna do, I wanna see if this can mark stainless steel. That's the most important thing to me because I'm using this for setting designs of stainless steel so I can do my welding art. So if it can mark this, that's going to be the real value for this machine for me. So because I'm using new material, I want to reset that depth. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna run a power grid and we will see how this goes. Okay, does mark stainless steel. So this is a power grid. So I got the power settings over here. I've got the speed over here. This is 60% power up to 100% power. And this is 60 millimeters per minute up to 3000 millimeters per minute. So more power, more speed. And as you can see, the 60 millimeters per minute with 100% power, that etches no problem. And I can feel that with my fingernail. Like it definitely etched into that metal. That is awesome. Cool. So yeah, that is an incredible machine. We can throw on images, we can cut, we can even go into stainless steel. So that is awesome.